Okay, so we're going to start on a new course where we work through some of the fundamentals of making a non sprite kit based uh, TVOS app. And uh, just for our first little project here, you can see that we're just going to uh, make a table view and uh, you'll be able to click on it and basically just uh, get some feedback as to what you just clicked on. I know it's not the uh, the most exciting thing in the world. Here, I just lost the simulator. There it is. Uh, but uh, it's uh, it's a great way to get started. And um, let's it's not gonna take much time. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, it from Xcode. If uh, you haven't already created a new project, go over to a new project, and you're just gonna want to put in here single view. TVOS. Okay, so I've already got that right here. And you can see we've just got our uh, usual view controller. Uh, not too much in here. View did load. That's uh, pretty much where we're going to kick things off. Actually, you know what? First, let's go ahead and uh, put in here uh, a couple uh, delegate issues. We're going to put in here a UI table view data source, which just basically means that uh, this particular class is going to be responsible for uh, giving us the data. And then we're also going to be responsible for uh, another method, and it's going to complain that we don't have that method until we add that in here. So just kind of ignore this red warning for a little bit, uh, and you'll see uh, you see what function that is when that actually goes away. Okay, so let's declare a couple things. One is going to be our table view, and we're just going to put in here UI table view. Uh, go ahead and commit to that being in here at some point in time. We can delete it when, whenever we want, but um, if you just put the exclamation point in there, we're not going to have to worry about uh, dealing with whether or not it's optional, basically. And uh, and then we're going to put in here main categories, okay? So that, this is going to be an array. Uh, so do your uh, opening bracket, the non-squiggly type. Uh, put in here a string or string type. And then um, essentially we're just kind of initializing, initializing it with nothing. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll put in some values actually uh, right here. Let me just go ahead and uh, copy these in so you don't have to watch me type them all out. And okay, all right, so again, strings, so they're just going to be in these quotes like this. You can't get away with just putting in here a number, right? Unless you declare the array to be any, but that'll, that'll be annoying down the road. And, uh, you know, you can add to this at any time. Uh, you can even get rid of this at any time you want. Uh, so, for example, you know, you might, uh, oh, I'm sorry, actually, that's adding back to it. If you want to get rid of everything, you could put over here, remove all. Uh, so for example, if you clicked on one of these categories, you could then start showing people subcategories of stuff and, and basically uh, refresh your table that way. But uh, let's get ahead of ourselves. Uh, let's uh, We've got our array for right now. And uh, then we're going to call a function set up table view. Okay, and just to keep things nice and tidy, we'll put that in its own function. So that's going to be set up table view. And we don't need to pass anything into this. Uh, so it's, uh, this is a line worth copying in. I don't need to talk about it too much. We're just going to make it, create a, a, a CG rect. So basically just the, the, the frame for our table. And uh, you can see I'm using a portion of the width, a portion of the height. You know, <laughs> you start subtracting that much. Maybe you just hard code in a value there. But, uh, yeah, you know, you know, now you got the... Uh, you got some code to work with the height if you want it. All right. Now we need to actually initialize our table view. And to do this, we're just going to put it in here, frame and style. You know what? I didn't actually go back and look at what the other style options would be, but just pass in there your table frame, your CG rect. And then here, now we can see what it is. That grouped or plain, uh, distinct groups of rows in any second. Okay, well, yeah, I don't think we really need the separators. So we'll just go with group. And then uh, self.view.add subview. Here comes our subview, table view. All right, so that's actually now been added uh, to the scene. And we got a couple other things we need to put in here. Table view dot data source is going to equal self. All right. Oops. No, nope, don't need that afterwards. And then self dot table view. That's going to uh, the delegate is also going to equal itself. So that still is not going to get rid of uh, this uh, mean little <laughs> red mark up here. But uh, we're getting there. We're getting a little bit closer. All right. So uh, let's do this. Um, I'm going to put a mark in here, even though this there's not that much uh, code in here. It's nice to be able to kind of scoot over here and see that's what we just wrote table stuff so if you have a lot of code in here you know you can kind of you know mark it off sometimes I'll even do things like this just put in here a bunch of lines so then it's like kind of easy, even easier on my eyes is kind of figure out what's what is up 
And the first thing that is up is going to be function, if I can spell function correctly. All right, some of these, most of these should all fill themselves in here for you. So number of sections in, uh, that's interesting. It's a little bit different than the code I have. But uh, hey, you know what? We'll go with it if that's what they suggested. I mean, I reference stuff that I just made a week ago. Sorry. Already has a code change. I don't know. Uh, all right. So basically what we're doing is we're just specifying how many um, sections are going to be in uh, the, the table. Right, right. And it's just going to be one column anyway. So let's just put it here. One column. Right. Um, just... FYI, I have that. Looks like it's the same thing, though, doesn't it? And this is the more swiftier way of doing things right now. So, But I guess it didn't complain when I wrote that a while back. And not even a while back. All right. Um, by the way, if you're not watching me yet on the, uh, the Apple TV app, uh, you should be. The Cartoon Smart Apple TV app, which uses some of this code. Uh, all right, so next thing we're going to do is return how many rows are going to be in there. So number of rows in section, okay? And we're just going to put in here return main categories dot count, okay? So we don't want to mess this up. And the, the best way that, to be sure we don't ever mess this up is to only use exactly the number of main categories we have, all right? So we've just got the count from that. Uh, the count is going to be six, right? So just return six inside of there. Uh, you know, what you wouldn't want to do is accidentally do something like this, uh, where you, you, know, you go above the number of categories, right? And uh, then for our next one, okay, now this is where, and I'm just going to, well, I could probably have it fill in. Let's go, let's just put in your table view. But see, you got a lot of these, okay? Uh, we would want to look for the one that says cell for row at, and this should be the one that, yeah, there it is. I believe that's it. Okay. Um, this should be the one that, that uh, stops the complaining. Okay. What it wants is it, it wants for us to return a cell. Okay. Um, and then we're going to put in here, let cell, and this is going to be UI table view cell. There we go. And uh, you're going to put in here, style uh, dot subtitle. You can see a style for a cell with a left aligned label across the top and left aligned label below it in smaller text. Okay, so uh, we don't really have any subtitles to put in here, but um, you might, right? So let's go ahead and leave that option in there. And then uh, we're not going to put in here any sort of uh, reuse identifier. If you want to find out more about that, uh, go ahead and read on your own. Uh, but uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to say cell.text label dot text is going to equal, and a couple ways we go about this, but um, one of them is to ju just treat this like we were printing something out. All right, so do exactly what I just put in there, right? Okay, now this is this part is going to be replaced by a variable, okay? So we could put uh, blah, 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 whatever it is, and then this is going to be some actual, an actual variable. Okay, so uh, we're going to put in here, can you guess, uh, main categories, and then we're going to make use of our index path, okay? And then you put after that dot row, all right? So that will give us um, podcast for the first row, recent for the next row, and so on like that. So basically it goes through here and uh, returns a cell in order one at a time. So zero starting first for the first one. Uh, and then that's just matched up to what is in our uh, main categories, right? Okay, you'll notice that the uh, the warning did go away at that point. We have uh, not very much code left to write, so let's go ahead and just uh, keep typing it, and um, and then we'll test this all at once. Uh, this is uh, not really that necessary, okay? All right, and I'll kind of explain that in a moment, but this runs when you press down on it, okay? So if you're using your Apple TV remote, or and this code sh should run just fine for iOS as well, but so if somebody were to tap on it, right? Uh, I believe it's the same code. It might be slightly different, but um, uh, what we could do is we could put in here uh, print. If you just wanted to make sure that um, you know you know the item that you're that you're pressing on, right? Or item the index path dot item. Now this isn't uh, dot row like we just saw a moment ago. It's just dot item. It's going to give you the uh, the int 
integer of it, right? So if we press on the first one, that's going to be zero, and one, two, and so on like that. And then if you just want to spit back out what the um, what the category name was at that point, again, just match it up to your main category. So you put in here print main categories index path dot item. Uh, now the only reason I say that you you might not even do this, and I don't do this in the Cartoon Smart app, is uh, is because I use the categories the table view. Uh, it's just something that you kind of scroll down, and then once you've scrolled on that category, then we populate stuff on the right side of the app, okay? So there's really no need for you to actually uh, click on it, um, but, you know, again, if you wanted to. All right, so then let's deal with the actual scrolling. So uh, we put in your function, table view, and uh, what we want is did update focus. So kind of scroll down here until you find that did. See my eyes oriented right here did update focus and if I don't find it soon enough and look at me you can see how many options are there uh, yeah I think that's it okay did update focus and with coordinator yep that looks right to me okay so let's put a little note on this one run anytime runs anytime we move up or down the table view okay and one of the little tricky parts here is that this um, also tends to view when you move off, okay? So if you move out of the table view, so I'm gonna put in here, if context.next focused indexed path equals nil, then that means, I'll put a little print statement here, not browsing the table, okay? Uh, and then we would just wanna return out of that because most likely there, you, you don't wanna do anything else down here, okay? But uh, otherwise, what you can do is you can put in here, uh, uh, Print dot context dot next focused index path dot item. Okay, and again, this is going to return the number of the thing that you are at. Okay, so then you know, kind of use that uh, number to populate something else, probably. No, let's say something else. Prob prob probably, probably, uh, according to the category, right? Okay, so you ready to try this out? Let's give it a shot. Here we go. And it uh, might show up kind of big. If it does, just be aware that you can kind of move this up and down like so. Simulator is never my favorite place to test, but in this case, should be able to get away with it. Uh, be sure your remote is showing. You're gonna need to use that. There we go, and uh, if, you, if you don't see it right away, just go over here to Apple TV Remote. All right, so hold down the Option key and float over this way with your mouse. Uh, let's also keep an eye on the, uh, the output window down here. All right, so it's already got some of us some of the stuff selected by default. Not sure why that just went away. There it is. Um, all right, so there we go. Uh, scrolling down, and what we should see now is one, two, and this is the code that's running uh, right over here and you can see that if we were to try to go off of this well we really can't because there's nothing else uh, to select over here neat thing is is that um, uh, the way the Apple TV is set up is uh, or, or basically the way the compiler set up here is that uh, it'll it'll automatically detect where you can go okay so if you're to put in here another collection view or a UI button or something like that uh, if you know, if it kind of finds, hey, okay, well, that would be over here to the right in this area. Well, let them go over to here, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, if you had a button down here and if you scrolled all the way down to the end of this, you know, you could go down one more time and you could get to the button and back up and so on like that. So it's, it's nice. They've taken care of a lot of things for you. And you don't really have to set a, a focus order, um, although that is a possibility. So anyway, you can see I'm just going up and down. Let's click on uh, this one and you can see I'm just pressing down here. And it's showing me that it's just spitting back out the uh, the category name, and of course the index. And again, that's something that you could use, uh, you know, to, to kind of populate something else over here. And uh, we'll we'll talk about a collection view, which um, is kind of uh, in some sense the spiritual <laughs> sibling of a table view because there's some similar things like the delegation and the uh, data source. But there you go. Now you have. A nice little table view you can use for tvOS and uh, presumably I think you can use the same code for iOS the only change that might be is is that this did highlight row don't believe that's in the iOS thing but I think there's something uh, named appropriately for that one too